You know, the most exciting thing for me right now in these that's coming out in the meetings just, just now is the uh, ability to sequence individual genomes from individual cells and the discovery that the genomes from even clonal populations of cells are remarkably different from each other. And I'm, I'm particularly interested in how these genomic variations or mosaicism, as we call it, occurs. So I will never forget the meeting in Toronto several years ago when Shinya Yamanaka uh, told us about his discovery of uh, the establishment of IPS cells. Uh, these cells are really changing the field of stem cell research. And uh, as you all know, Shinya Yamanaka eventually awarded the Nobel Prize for this discovery. And he was presenting his data at the ISSCR meeting prior to its publication. So in the past meeting in Boston, one of the most exciting talks that I uh, heard was from Eric Lander's talk. He really revealed a new world of genetic principles and genetic elements which are involved in stem cell regulation that previously was not known. Namely, he talks about all these non-coding RNAs which used to be thought to be the product of the junk part of the genome and now potentially will be very important. It just tells us that, you know, there's still so much we need to learn about the underlying principles of stem cells. My favorite part of the annual meeting is the Meet the Experts lunch. I just love getting together with the young scientists and talking about my research and their research and discussing the future. So the most um, interesting and enjoyable part of the meeting for me is uh, at the poster sessions when I meet uh, a young scientist who's got some exciting and interesting results and we can have a good discussion about that. Uh, I may learn something which is, is good and you know sometimes you may also be able to, to help to give some guidance or mentoring to the young person. I think the thing that can be most invigorating about the annual meeting is when you go there and you hear really good science talks. That's really exciting because you know we all go to a lot of meetings and oftentimes meetings are a mixed bag in terms of the quality of the speakers. But when you go to a meeting where the, me the speakers are consistently high in quality and where they give talks and they tell you things that you didn't expect to hear that change the way you think about a certain area of biology, that's, you know, that's why we do this. One of the most fun experiences at the annual meeting is actually to go into the exhibitor hall. For me, I just love to go and see what people are bringing, what the new technology is, and uh, to chat to all the vendors who come. Uh, one of the real fun parts about the meeting for me is meeting up with my uh, ex-postdocs, people that have got their own careers, and we generally have a party together, we'll go out to dinner and I'll get to catch up on what they're up to, but I also get to meet their students and so I have this sort of extended family of people that get together and talk about the past as well as the future. I think the, uh, the, one of the, the fun things to do uh, besides the science for the annual meeting is uh, making new friends, to have uh, uh, the networking with the old friend and to, to, have, uh, uh, to have new friends. To, to you know to have a, a dinner and go out uh, together to share not only the result and also change the information and uh, experience well Vancouver is truly one of the world's great cities and it's really exciting that ISSCR will be going there to have its first meeting uh, in Vancouver first meeting on the west coast of Canada um, there's a lot of great things about Vancouver uh, the thing that's most memorable to me is the opportunity to run around Stanley Park. Uh, it's just a spectacular park in downtown uh, uh, Vancouver and hopefully I'll be able to carve out a few minutes to do that. So Vancouver is one of my most favorite cities. I've been there multiple times. Each time I went there, you know, I fell in love with that city. I think that city got everything. It has beautiful architecture, has water, has mountain, and most importantly, it has wonderful and friendly people. So I really look forward to it again.
the Northwest Coast art is very prominent in Vancouver and there's a very exciting uh, display of it at the Archaeology Museum out on uh, at the UBC campus. Well obviously it's the wrong time of the year otherwise Whistler is where I'd be going from Vancouver. The other place that uh, I visited in Vancouver that I was really impressed by is on Vancouver Island is Butchard Gardens which is a really fine botanic garden. 